Okay, we are here at Le Brasseux in the Valle de Joux, home of Audemars Piguet, one of the iconic Swiss watch brands. And we're about to meet with Sebastian Vivas, head of heritage and curator of the museum, which just recently opened its doors. So please follow me in. Hey, Pedro. Hello, nice Sebastian. to see you. Nice to see you. We are super happy to welcome you now in this uh, Musée Atelier Audemars Piguet, which is the place where uh, we want to share the very best of AP. It's a place where people can experiment a little bit. What is mechanics? What is design? If you look up there, this row of windows is where uh, the founders, Jules Louis Audemars, Edouard Auguste Piguet, started the company in 1875. Very interesting, Sebastian. Tell us a little bit about more about the history of Audemars Piguet. The history starts when people found uh, little bits of iron in this stone. That, was, uh, that is coming from the middle of the forest where there used to be mines. The exploitation of uh, iron led to metallurgy, which open the way to watchmaking. This is a family tree and it covers nearly a five centuries history. The Piguet started, uh, arrived in the Valley de Joux in the 30th century. Uh, there is a direct link to uh, the first watchmaker, Edouard Auguste Piguet, the co-founder, and the today uh, fourth generation, Olivier Audemars. These people, they spend their childhood uh, in the company. They have the memory of the history of the company, so they have a, a long-term vision. And they can also uh, believe in crazy dreams, such as innovations in products, in movements. Passion and craftsmanship really go hand in hand at Audemars Piguet. Tell us, how do you make sure and you foster that spirit and you make sure that it will continue? We have the privilege to work on extraordinary watches and incredible projects that cannot be made without passion. The watches are made with the same care, the same sense of forward thinking and the same idea of uncompromising spirit that they used to be done. Although we make larger quantities, they are decorated by hand, they are developed and designed uh, internally. So I see that the craftsmanship is still at the core of Audemars Piguet and, and, and the product transcends these elements. Yes, this is our soul and this is the reason why we have in this uh, Musée Atelier the workshop dedicated to Grand Complications. 13 people producing uh, about 60 watches a year among which 8 to 10 uh, Grand Complications offering uh, the same function since the 19th century. As you know Grand Complications, uh, this is one of the specialties of AP. The definition hasn't changed. Minute repeater, perpetual calendar, split second chronograph. This three function has to be in the same watch to be named a grand complication. And the watchmakers who work here, they spend six months to eight months for one single watch because they, they have to assemble, to disassemble, to make all the decoration, the finishing, the adjustment three times before the watch can be cased. Is there a complication that characterizes Audemars Piguet best? I would not say that there is one complication, but that complications as well as uh, fine decoration characterize AP. This is the reason why we have developed this space, which is at the heart of the museum. And talking about the great families, the three main families of complications, the first illustrated by this planetarium is, uh, of course, the calendars. Here we have the first wristwatches with complete calendars, with uh, uh, perpetual calendars. The whole history, 150 years history of Audemars Piguet calendar watches. The second family uh, is uh, dedicated to chiming watches. Okay. Yeah, it brings us back to the origin of watchmaking, where when the first clocks had no, no dial, just the sound. And here we have masterpieces uh, covering our history of our split second chronograph. Here we have the centerpiece of the museum, the Universal. Yes. It is the most complicated piece in the museum. Absolutely. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about these it's complications. It's the most complicated piece uh, of our collection and one of the world's most complicated pieces of its time. The watch has 21 functions, over 1,000 components, 360 screws, talking only about screws. So it shows that watchmaking is a network of people working together to create extraordinary uh, watches. 
Sebastian, thank you very much for everything and uh, for having us here. It was a great privilege. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Pedro, and come back anytime with your friends.